Is it against the rules for three people to run one blog? This is a brilliant idea to try. My favorite is Posterous, because it is exceptionally easy to use, and great with media, video, photos, PDF files, audio. You can have shared authorship too. I'm using two articles written by the same author in the same year. How do I differentiate between the two? The university guidance is that, if you are quoting several works published by the same author in the same year, they should be differentiated, by adding a lowercase letter directly, with no space, after the year for each item. Can I send in a publisher file? Thanks for asking, but I can't access publisher files. Can you save in a different format? What's happening this week? So far, you have been asked to draft the first two patches for your module portfolio, the individual learning plan and working life. If you have not already had feedback from me, it is urgent that you get in touch. In the next two weeks, follow the outline delivery plan to do the tasks to support the production of a patch on work relationships. How much should I write? The maximum is 6,000 words for each module. The penalty for exceeding the word count is an automatic deduction of 10 marks. Concise expression is a highly valued graduate skill and is not unusual to be given a limit in work situations such as an application for a new job. Is there a minimum? There is no overall minimum, although if your total word count is lower than 4,500, it may be a sign of a serious problem. How is the work marked? Look at the assessment criteria published in the module guide. Try self-evaluation using these criteria. What do you think makes the difference between a basic and a good individual learning plan? I don't think my technology skills are good enough. The draft you sent in is a good start, although you need to use only your own photos or images. Your own screenshot is a good use of an image. Clippert does not usually contribute to marks, because it is not original. It is good to see the use of the header and footer in Word. Surprisingly few people know how to do this before starting the course, so don't doubt your technology skills. Using your own photos as the basis for an assignment is new to most students. Getting photos from your camera to use in a Word document is often a new skill. Don't forget to shrink images if they have a large file size. On the diagram I like the way the arrow narrows down and shows the job role responsibility scale. I agree that this diagram has shown another way to represent relationships. The next part is to compose about 500 words of text that explains the diagram. Start with a brief description about how you developed the map and what can be seen on it. Follow this with an evaluation of the map, considering what relationships may be significant but are not easily shown as well as what works well. Next, explain what you have learned by creating the map and what work colleagues and course members have discovered by looking at your map. Conclude by discussing one or more alternative ways to present work relationships, referring to any existing organization charts and to literature about work relationships. I have attached two versions of my work in progress. The PowerPoint has five slides. I would really appreciate some feedback. PowerPoint is designed for giving presentations. In general you should make good use of visuals and include minimal text. The PDF version ensures that the graphics are displayed as you intended and is better for the media you have selected for the task. I wasn't sure if on my map I needed more detail about individual responsibilities. I agree with your explanation that the map shows only part of a complex situation. It is a busy map so try not to overcomplicate it. I'm not sure if Excel is one of the supported formats for work. Excel is fine and it is good to see how well you have used it. Information about acceptable file types is in the module guide. I'm not sure about qualitative data. The qualitative data for this task is the data collected to devise the map. The analysis is the map, making use of the data you have collected, and the interpretation of the map, explaining what the map shows and what it does not show. An example of collecting data might be whether your school publishes an organization chart. If not, how did you collect the data to make your map? If the school publishes a chart, discuss the differences between your map and the chart. I think you have the right idea about what qualitative data is, but have just made a mistake in selecting the focus. The ability to analyze data is implied, because you constructed a map, but you could develop this by explicitly referring to some introductory reading about data analysis. Analysis is the process of turning data into information. Aim to relate your reading about quality of analysis to your analysis of data on work relationships. I guess getting colleagues to fill in a questionnaire or carrying out interviews would be a good start to data collection in that drafting and asking the right questions is absolutely essential. How can I show evidence of input into community discussions? You do not need direct quotations from module discussions. However, you need to mention your input to discussions, and one way to do this is to say what improvements you have suggested to other students' drafts. What are we studying next? By now, you are probably getting used to being an online student on the course. Instead of lectures, you have module resources. 
traditional seminars are replaced by online discussions. During the next fortnight you are encouraged to explore the university library, to do some desk research about competencies. Some students are near one of the university campuses, so you can go in person to the library. Others are near to another university, and can make arrangements to use the library. The university digital library is going to be very useful. Any other tips for improvement? Avoid abbreviations in your writing. A personal timetable can be very useful. Aim to spend about 10 hours per week on the course, in addition to any time related to study, while you are at work. Make notes in your learning journal. When marking, I look for evidence of detail that comes from having read the module resources, not just the module guide. Thanks for all the advice. Thanks for asking. Critical thinking is a feature throughout the course. At this stage it is useful to understand that critical does not mean negative, but does mean questioning. I look forward to more questions next week.